You probably don't want to plan a beach trip to Thailand and then end up in a storm, do you? When searching for the best time to visit, most resources suggest November to April. But is that truly the best time for you? In this video, I'll break down the best time to visit Thailand based on your specific goals. We'll then analyse each month of the year in detail. By the end, you'll be able to make an informed decision about when to plan your Thai adventure. Thailand has two or three main seasons depending on the area of the country. From the map you'll see there's three seasons in the north, also in the northeast and in some parts of central Thailand. Hot season. This is the driest time of year with clear skies and plenty of sunshine. It's perfect for outdoor activities and exploring the country's many beaches and islands. Rainy season. During this season, Thailand experiences heavy rainfall, especially in the afternoon and the evening. While it can be a bit wet, the lush greenery and waterfalls are at their best. Cool or dry season. This is the cooler season, especially in the northern and northeastern regions. It's a great time to visit the mountains and enjoy cooler temperatures. The southern region, east coast, west coast and Bangkok experience two main seasons. Dry season, which is from December to April. Enjoy warm sunny weather and minimal rain during this popular tourist time. Rainy season, May to November. While rainfall is more frequent, the tropical showers often add to the charm of the region. Embrace the rain and discover the beauty of Southern Thailand year round. This is a comfortable time to visit Thailand. The cooler weather, clear air and festive atmosphere make November to January the ideal time to visit Thailand. In the north, you can stroll around towns without breaking a sweat. Bangkok also enjoys comfortable daytime temperatures during this period. However, be prepared for higher prices and crowds as this is a popular tourist season. Best time for budget options. June to August, known as the early rainy season, offers low prices compared to the peak tourist season, less crowded tourist attractions, and predictable weather with moderate temperatures and clear air quality. It's a good time to travel for budget conscious tourists. If you visit during the early rainy season, July to August, you'll also get pleasant temperatures. The heat isn't as intense as the shoulder season, making exploration a lot more comfortable. Rain helps wash away dust and pollutants, making the air feel a lot fresher. Best for festival experiencing? Songkran in April. This is the Thai New Year and it's celebrated with water splashing, parades and traditional ceremonies. Loi Kratong in November. This festival involves releasing decorated floats onto the rivers around the country and canals to honour the water goddess. Yi Beng Festival in November. This is a magic lantern festival which is held in Chiang Mai and it's a stunning spectacle where thousands of lanterns light up the night sky. It coincides also with the Loi Kratong Festival. While Yi Peng is unique to the north, Loi Kratong is celebrated throughout the country. Vegetarian Festival in October. This is a colourful and intense event that involves participants performing acts of self-mortification, such as piercing their bodies with sharp objects. And this unique festival is primarily celebrated in Phuket, but it can also be experienced in Krabi. In March to April, the air quality is poor due to widespread crop burning, especially in central and northern Thailand, making it one of the worst times to visit, unless you plan to stay mostly in the southern islands. Thunderstorm and flooding. The rainy season usually starts during May and it often rains very hard in June. That affects the whole country, especially the parts in the Andaman Sea, like Phuket, Krabi and Pang A province, and some parts of Northern Thailand. September is also a month of heavy rainfall, usually across Thailand, and it's often accompanied by thunderstorms, and in some cases, typhoons. 
The increased precipitation does pose a significant risk of flooding and landslides, particularly in the northern regions like Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai and Pai, as well as other areas near to rivers. And in the south, such as places like Phuket, travellers should be aware of these potential hazards and plan their trips accordingly. The Gulf of Thailand, including popular destinations like Koh Samui and Koh Phang An, experience a period of heavy rainfall. The increased rain often leads to a heightened risk of flooding also in this region, particularly in Koh Samui. Again, travellers need to be mindful of these conditions and take necessary precautions. Best time to visit Thailand's beaches and islands. To help you plan your beach getaway, we've divided Thailand's beaches and islands into four main regions. West Coast, East Coast, Andaman Sea and Gulf of Thailand. This chart will outline the ideal months for visiting each region. If you do prefer a more detailed explanation, please look at the link that I've left in the description. Breakdown by month throughout the year. January, cool and dry in the north, warm and sunny in the Andaman and the east coast, but rainy season in the Gulf of Thailand, and be careful about the high rainfall and flooding. It's peak season all over the country, hotel prices do tend to be higher in the first half of January. February, similar to January, but slightly warmer in the north, but in the Gulf of Thailand, there's a slight amount of rain. The sea in the Andaman and the east coast is starting to calm, and it is unlikely to rain in this region. The prices of accommodation are still high. March, March offers a pleasant month across all of Thailand with warm sunny days and clear skies. It's an ideal time to explore the Andaman where the calm seas and warmer temperatures make it perfect for swimming and for beach activities. While the south enjoys idyllic conditions, the north may experience haze from the burning season. In some cases, the air pollution can reach hazardous levels affecting health. April. This is the hottest month of the year in Thailand with temperatures often soaring above 40 degrees. The combination of intense heat and ongoing burning season can make conditions uncomfortable, feeling like you're in an oven. If you're seeking relief from the heat, consider heading south. Both the Andaman Sea and the Gulf of Thailand enjoy sunny days. The southern areas generally have a much better air quality at this time. May. In May, the rainy season starts in the Andaman, while the Gulf of Thailand remains relatively dry. However, towards the end of the month, rain begins to fall across the entire country. This is really beneficial for the North, which has been dealing with dry weather, heat and pollution. With the arrival of the rainy season, tourism in Thailand typically starts to slow down, leading to a decrease in accommodation prices. This presents a great opportunity for budget conscious travellers to explore the country. June marks the peak of the rainy season in Thailand with heavy rainfall across the country, especially in the Andaman Sea region. While it might not be the wettest month of the year, expect rain on most days and be prepared for potential flooding, particularly in Phuket. Note that the Gulf of Thailand experiences less rainfall compared to the Andaman Sea during this time. July. While the rainy season does continue in July, the rainfall is generally less than in June. Expect a mix of sunny days and rainy spells throughout the country. In the Gulf of Thailand, enjoy drier weather, calmer seas, blue skies and refreshing sea breezes. August. August sees slightly more rainfall compared to July, but it's still a relatively pleasant month. In the Andaman Sea region, expect a mix of sunny days and rainy spells. The Gulf of Thailand, on the other hand, offers the driest weather of the year, making it ideal for beach lovers. September is the wettest month in Thailand with frequent thunderstorms and occasional typhoons causing heavy rainfall. This can result in severe flooding, especially in northern areas like Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai and Pai, and provinces near to rivers. 
While the north experiences heavy rainfall, the Gulf of Thailand continues to enjoy sunny days and calm seas usually. In October, rainfall decreases in the Andaman Sea region compared to September. However, the Gulf of Thailand starts to experience rain. The north and the northeast may see occasional showers. Towards the end of the month, temperatures begin to cool down. In November, the Andaman Sea region enjoys sunny and dry weather, while the Gulf of Thailand experiences a bit more rain. The north and northeast also have dry and cool weather. Be mindful of air pollution in Bangkok during November, as the still wind can trap pollutants. Due to the increased number of tourists, accommodation prices usually start to rise in November. December is a fantastic month to visit Thailand, especially in the north and the northeast where you'll enjoy cool nights and pleasant daytime temperatures. There's no rain and the skies are usually clear. The Andaman Sea region, east coast and west coast are also at their peak in December, offering beautiful beaches and calm seas. However, the Gulf of Thailand is still experiencing some rain, probably a little bit heavier in this month. However, be prepared for higher accommodation prices and increased crowds due to the Christmas and New Year festivities. If you've enjoyed this video and there's any information here that you found valuable and you would like to see more videos like this from our channel, do us a favour, hit subscribe, share the video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.